Hi, my name is Fetuga Hurushola. I'm from Sipio Church Signature. Today I'm cutting a skirt and blouse. So with peplum. So let's get started. I'll first measure three and a half inches. Three and a half inches. This will serve as my center front. Eight and a half inches, half inch for sewing allowance. Boss points, which is ten plus half inch. Boss radius, which is thirteen two plus half inch, making thirteen six. Then the full front. This is bus radius line. Shoulder, like I said, is seven plus three and a half inches. My bust measurement, which is thirty-seven, that's nine to eight. Plus five and a half. The under bust that's seven six. Plus five and a half. Then the waist, which is thirty four. Divided by four, that's eight and a half plus five and a half. Boss span, which is six, seven, eight. So divided by two is three, four plus one inch. That's four, four, eight. One inch on this side, another one inch on this side. So here I'm using one and a half, which is six eight on this side, and six eight on this side. the upper part I'll measure my two inches After cutting, I joined it together the way it was. I joined it. This is the side. This is the center front. After sewing it, this place is longer than the center front. So I will have to cut it off. I want to take my actual measurement. Bust measurement, which is nine two eight i'll start from this my line so this is my nine two eight then i'll chalk it plus two inches my under bust here seven six eight so I'll measure my two inches so my waist which is eight and a half from this line eight and a half on this line plus two inches So 
see, I'll chop it. Then I'll cut it off. I want to pin my shoulder is seven seven inches. You can see it's accurate. Now some won't be accurate, so you reshape it. So now measuring my shoulder slant, one inch downward. This is my one inch downward. So now I want to shape the neck in my three. So now I want to measure where I want my V neck to get to. I need six and a half. For my V neck, I want my V neck to look like sweet art. Red. I will remove my thread, remove this thing, then I will use this to cut, you can see this is two and this is two. I will use it to cut my lining, then this is my lining, I sew it here, I sew it here, then it over. So after turning, so from my zip allowance, the shoulder I'm using is ample 8 inches plus half inch sewing allowance. My boss point is 10 plus half inch. The bust radius, which is 13 to plus half inch. That's 13 six. My full front 17 and a half plus half inch. That's 18. So my one inch from the along the shoulder along the arm. What measurements I'm using? is 9-2 plus 2 inches so the under bust 7 6 8 plus 2 inches my waist measurement is 34 so that's eight and a half eight four eight The neck measurement that I'm using, I'm using the standard one which is 3 inches. Then along the center back, I'm using 8 inches. This is my back. I've used it to cut the lining. So I notch the neck. So, after that, after notching it, I turn it round. I now measure one and a half inch from the zip allowance. You know, it was supposed to be like two inches, but I use half inch to sew it inside. This is the, the straight line, 12 inches material that I cut. I folded it into kissy pleating. You can see the way it is. Let me quickly show you the way I did this. I measure what I wanted the, this house side to be, which is four. I measure my four inches from the zip allowance. So this is the zip allowance. Two inches will serve as zip allowance. The other two inches will be there, plus the other two inches that will meet at the zip allowance, making four. 
Then after that, I measure seven inches in here. So I use the seven inches to lay like this. Then I pinned it. This is where I chopped, you can see. I pinned it together. Then I open it. Then I tack it down. So this is how it is. So another one, I measure my four inches. Then I measure my seven inches. So till I got what I wanted for my waist because my waist is that one. So that, this is how it will look like. Now I will join my back to this. So from uh, shoulder to shoulder then i will sew so it will give me something like this so you can see this is the back and this is the front so this is the the breast cup Our back you will join it this is the zip color once you join it here then this front the other front will enter this way you can see so this is my V so this is how it's going to look like so this my back will be here so this will enter here don't make a mistake of letting it be more than three inches because I've still half inch in here so I have three inches so it must go in in here not less than three inches and not more than three inches accurate one is three inches it will overlap there so this is how it's going so after that i will join my back to this side by one and a half inches i will join my back with one and a half inches then i'll put my peplum on the round so this is my sleeve i'll put my sleeve at the after sewing it, my sleeve will be here. So that is that about the back of the skirt. So two inches my zip allowance. The skirt length 38 and a half plus two inches. Then I will use the remaining one to pull it in. waist measurement is 34 four, which is divided into four that's eight and a half plus one inch for that then two inches for sewing allowance then from the top line I'll measure my eight inches for the hip line but I've had half inch to it making it and half for my hip line my hip measurement 41 divided by 4 that's 10 10 to 8 plus 2 inches above nail is 19 inches plus half inch so I'm making it 19 and half. that half inch will serve as a sewing allowance my hip which is 10 to 8 10 to 8 so I will reduce it by 1 inch 1 inch so I'll have 9 to 8 here plus 2 inches 9 to 8 plus 2 inches from my waist line now I will measure 13 and a half inches you want it
So this is my back. This is how it's going to look like. So now coming to my front, I'm folding about half inch. which is 34 divided by 4 which is 8 and a half plus 1 inch then plus 2 inches sewing allowance hip line 8 and a half as we have seen it there so I use my 18 and a half The hip measurement here is 10 to 8 plus 2 inches. The one is 9 to 8 plus 2 inches. Then I'll cut it straight. Done. This is 9 to 8. Plus two inches. Front that is six. The back one will be seven. My dad will look like. So I want to notch the center of my dad. Then I will notch the half inch on the other side. I'm going to slit it down because my slit is in the front of the half inch that I folded here will serve as sewing allowance. This is my left side. This is my left side. So this is where I'm going to slit. I've used a skirt to cut the lining. So I sew it round. I use this to fold it in. I sew it round. Then I will turn it. You can see this is my back. This is my back. I mean the the back for the skirt. This is my uh, zip allowance here. So I will turn it. I will turn everything round. Then I will give it a nice ironing. Then this is what this is how it's going to look like. After turning it around, then I'll sew it together. I'll join the back together. I'll put my zip. Then the front, I'll put the other part here so it will form my slit. Then I'm in my center front. So I'll first 